This is uh, a, a week where we're having a lot of committee meetings. I uh, just got out of a committee meeting. I've got a meeting scheduled for tomorrow morning for appropriations. And in the appropriations committee, we're going to be looking at Senate Bill 143, which is uh, uh, Senator Kenley's bill to address the uh, tax refund that uh, was passed just last year. Uh, the governor pushed for a tax refund to people in the state of Indiana when, when the uh, revenues in the state uh, exceeded a certain amount and when the surplus in the state exceeded a certain amount. And because of uh, some lost money that the governor found, about $340 million in the Department of Revenue, we now find ourselves this year with a little more money than we had anticipated. And so that's going to trigger that automatic tax refund for the taxpayers of the state of Indiana. It's based on uh, your income uh, as to how much you're going to get based on the way the bill was drafted last year. So some people may get $8.50 back and if you're wealthy enough you may get back $50. But I'm concerned about that because in the process of coming to this point where we have a surplus, we have reduced the amount of money that we have provided for schools by $300 million. Public schools need additional money, and, and right now we're looking at giving a sur part of that surplus back as a tax break, uh, a tax refund uh, to, to people in the state rather than addressing the needs of the state. We owe the federal government $1.9 billion, and yet we're not counting that as a part of the uh, state surplus. If we take that 1.9 billion out, we don't have a surplus, we have a debt. So my, my feeling is we need to really look at this uh, surplus and whether or not we actually have one before we start sending back uh, eight, 10, 15 dollars to people who I think would just as soon the money go to schools or to uh, fund the debt we owe to the federal government.